जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम गो हरिओम पेवरीबडी प्रणाम 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 हरिओम 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 प्रणाम 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 यस्टडे वी वी कुड इन टच अपॉइंटमेंट ई मेल वेरी इंस्पायरिंग ई मेल एवरीबडी इज नाउ प्रॉम्प्टेड टू गो विथ इन विथ वन आर टू श्लोकास एंड इट्स कमिंग आउट वेरी वेल एंड इट इज थ्रोइंग लाइट टू ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर वेरी 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 हैप्पी अबाउट इट so this devotee writes right from the introduction of inquest of god papa has made us see how despair and disillusionment in life makes us that is to take refuge in god and pray intensely it is in bhagavad gita chapter number 18 shloka number 66 sarva dharman parityajya then connect to lord within to know that the only reality is the great void develop vairagya by way of that is bhagavad gita chapter number 6 shloka number 17 yukta hara viharasya then dedicating all available time from chanting his name and to be in communion with him so here is here you no know, the, the shloka chapter number 8 Shloka number seven: Tasma Sarveshu Kariyeshu. There are surely many more describing Papa's itinerant life exemplified in Bhagavad Gita, like Shri Doshna Sukadukheshu, Nyana Vijnana Druptatma. In chapter number two, fourteenth uh, uh, shloka, I mean, ch- in, in chapter number six, eighth shloka. yogi who has conquered his senses remain undisturbed in all for them dirt stones and gold are same so refer in quest of god where papa sits on a pile of stones and keeps chanting chapter in raipur where papa sleeps on the floor next to urinal so these are all the, the few slogas of shrimad bhagavad gita uh, i could understand and relate to so this is like this you know it is slowly entering into us and that is why probably papa made us to take an in-depth study of inquest of god whatever we are hearing through bhagavad gita papa has already demonstrated before us and made a deep impact in our mind especially that uh, equanimity in all situation surrendering totally to him accepting every situation as ordained by him constant remembrance even in the so called labeled extreme uh, adverse circumstances whether it was in tirupati whether it was in dakshineshwar So now you, we, 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 we see his hand. He made us to go through this in quest of God, and now he is prompting us to take up uh, Bhagavad Gita because there is a text. You know, normally everybody takes it up for discourse, 
but ours is something unique. We are not here for any discourse. We are trying to connect everything with the day-to-day -day life. So, Papa's it, narrative is the, not from Shastras, it is directly from the daily life. So, first he made us to go through the daily life and see the spiritual values inherent in it. And now he goes to the text which expounds the spiritual values. Probably the idea is it should not slip into an intellectual exercise for us. So, this devotee is openly, you know, uh, they were able to connect. I think this is also a good attempt. Going through B IQG and then finding out these shlokas from, because it is directly related to our da daily life. So that, that it doesn't remain as a dictum or a dogma or a knowledge. But the combination of IQG and uh, Bhagavad Gita gives us the wisdom. Very nice, very nice. And um, another devotee writes, chapter one, as you all know, is Vishada Yoga. This Vishada or a mental imbalance comes to all of us in our daily life issues. So simply reading it won't give us any solution. But again, and if we focus and present it to God, praying for a solution with a surrender attitude, taking him as said in Karpanya Thoshu Mahata Subhavaha. So he, after number two, Shoga number seven. Uh, eh? So we are able to get a so we are able to get an analytical sketch of the embarrassing issues, firmly understanding the almighty power, the existence of which is permanent in everything, as said in chapter number two, shloga number seventeen. Then our fear over the impending death can be cast away by deeply understanding that when the clothes become worn out, we change the clothes. Likewise, when the body attains its fag end of existence, our indwelling reality takes up another suitable kshetram or a dwelling fort. Chapter number 2, Shloka number 22, Vasamsi Jernani. Then chapter number 2, 47 again, Karmanye Vadigaraste. We have to perform our duties in a detached way with our best ability without minding for the results of actions. Then the disappointments and dissatisfied way of living can be done away with. And as said in chapter number 2, Shloka number 70, uh, this we have forgotten. Apuryamana Matala Pradishtam. In spite of all rivers turbulently rushing and merging in the sea, the sea remains calm without any change in its inner or outer color or shape. So also in our daily life, calamities are striking us, but absorbing the scream from, from the sloga, it makes us face those agonies without any mental imbalancing disturbances. The above is the main guidance for an individual to not only put himself in a balanced situation, but also to remain helpful to others to absorb the same from the chapter 1 and 2 of Arjuna Vishada Yoga and Sankhya Yoga. Different dimensions we are getting, you know. So, this Vishada Yoga uh, is... It is not simply, you know, Arjuna telling something and then we are closing it. As we said yesterday, there are so many dimensions. And uh, anybody else?
थर्ड चैप्टर तटीय श्लोका थर्ड चैप्टर तटीय श्लोका लक्ष्मी नारायण थर्ड चैप्टर मैसर्वाणी कर्माणी लक्ष्मीनारायण जी आस्ट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मयि सर्वाणी कर्माणी संन्यास्यात्मचेत निराशी निर्मो भूत युद्धस्य विगत ज्वरा प्रिनाउंसिंग ऑल एक्शंस टू मी विथ माइंड सेंटर्ड ऑन द सेल्फ आत्मन गेटिंग रिड ऑफ होप एंड सेल्फिशनेस फाइट ऑन फ्री फ्रॉम मेंटल फीवर ए ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स कैरी ऑन द बैटल ऑफ लाइफ हाउ विदाउट फीवर मतलब विदाउट इनर टेंशन In a calm and serene way, how renouncing all actions in me, there is a divine, infinite consciousness behind and beyond, beyond all nature, which is only its manifested energy. The whole world is called Maya, and the supreme divine. He is the master of this Maya. Sri Ramakrishna used to say, "Magic and the magician. Magic is not true. Magician alone is true. Don't don't concentrate only on the magic. Remember to have the magic. You need the magician. Remember to have the magic. You need the magician." And so Sri Krishna says, when we read this, we understand. when we see all the scientific and technological uh, what do you call improvement fantastic about 15 20 years back we cannot even conceive certain things now it has become a reality naturally the mind will be carried away by this without belittling the importance of material science how do we concentrate on the spiritual science we are all enjoying the material the, the gifts of material science so we cannot belittle the importance so how do we bring the spiritual science on par with material science one method could be behind all discovery invention innovation there is a person no and that person becomes a person only when there is spirit in him so it starts with spiritual science and becomes expressive through material science this 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 is this is this should be very clear to all of us we are not belittling the importance of material science material science has definitely improved the standard of living it has given us a comfortable life now it has touched upon the various aspects of a comfortable life now but behind this behind every such invention or innovation 
there is a person involved. The specs is really helping us you know, to read. Ophthalmology was developed, you know. And they are taking care of our, our eye problems. But at the same time, we should know that there is a person behind it, you know. When there was no ophthalmology, God gave that a person to think about it. And that person, he, he becomes a person only when the spirit is there, Atman is there. So it starts with spiritual science and comes out in the form of various gifts of material science. He analyzes, that person analyzes the raw materials provided by that power and God gives him the necessary probing nature, intelli primordial intelligence, you know, buddhir buddhivatamasmi to probe deep into it and then sustaining nature the culture also should be there, you know. Perseverance, patience, commitment, <coughs> absorbing the trial and error. So the all these things put together, what you are enjoying, so many things it has come out. So the person is there, matter is there, and the person tried delving deep into the matter, that is called material sign. The person by himself is there, he is spirit. Then there is no confusion, we give equal importance. They are the two sides of the same coin. Otherwise our life becomes one-sided. So Ramakrishna used to say, magic and magician. Magic is not true, magician alone is true. Don't concentrate only on the magic. Remember, to have the magic, you need the magician. And so Sri Krishna says, Mai Sarvani Karmani Saranyasya, renouncing all your actions in me. Who is beyond Maya and is the master of Maya. Adhyatma Chayatasa, developing a spiritual attitude, a spiritual frame of mind. Nirashi, without craving. Bhutva Nirmamo, becoming free from that I and mind. Yuddhaswa, engage yourself in the battle of life without tension, without fever. This is the profound message of this Karma Yoga chapter of the Gita. Oh, oh. Number 30, you know. Make a note, no? Gen do work without tension. Work without fuss. It's a very profound message. Generally, we have in God the strength to work with calmness. Therefore, we make a lot of noise, a lot of fuss. A machine makes a lot of noise when it is not efficient, when it is not properly oiled. But if it is a good machine, it is silent, quiet. Formerly our water pumps used to make a lot of noise. Today silent pumps are there. More efficiency is coming to our machines. Even our old auto rickshaws, what noise they used to make. Only 12 miles per hour, but such a noise. Whereas a first class car runs at about 80 miles an hour without any noise. So in the human system also, there is such a thing as efficiency in life and action. That efficiency is measured by the high quantity of work turned out, but in calmness. Any kind of fussy work is inefficient work. We have seen people even in household making much noise and fuss. 
but with the little actual turn out of work why not we do with calmness and quiet demeanor carry the burden with a smile as if there is no burden at all this kind of spiritual strength must be behind our efficient work that is why sri krishna says vikata jwaraha jwara means normally fever in sanskrit vikata means without fever means here ten- tension excitement fussiness especially fussy work there are people who go on shouting all the time in the midst of work that is inefficient work the gita wants us to be absolutely calm and steady while at work when we fly at high speed of about 600 miles per hour in a jet we don't feel that it is moving at all that is the mark of efficiency of a machine similarly the human system must be trained to perform yuddhasva vigata jwara it is the most urgent message we in india have to understand and apply today all our national problems we can solve when we become efficient and honest workers calm silent steady people who think that much passion is needed much noise must be made in the midst of work don't know the science and art of work it is a silent man that does the best work samatvam yoga muchate sri krishna has defined the message of yoga in the second chapter yoga karma sukaushalam yoga is efficiency in action nothing is off your control when you work efficiently and you have a controlled if you have if you have controlled anger it will be perfectly relevant but if anger takes control of you then something goes wrong with you so in this matter this particular teaching is very very significant sri krishna is telling in the next words how one becomes free from the bad effects of the work so this particular 30th shloka you gives us renouncing all actions to me with mind centered on the self getting rid of hope and selfishness fight on free from mental fever mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasa nirashir nirmamo bhutva yuddhasya vigata jwara so here also he makes a mention about this me and mine very important rashir nirmamo bhutva without craving nirashir nirmamo bhutva becoming free from the i and mind yuddhasya vigata jwara engage yourself in the battle of life without fear or tension which chapter swami ji third chapter third chapter 30th very nice then anything else in this reference ah huh. ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೇಟ್ 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 ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ 
ఫస్ట్ ట్వెల్వ్ సిక్స్త్ నంబర్ ఏతు సర్వాణి కర్మాణి మయి సన్యస్య మత్పరా అనే అనేనైవ యోగేన మాం ధ్యాయంత ఉపాసతే తేషామహం సముద్రత మృత్యు సంసార సాగరాద్ భవామి న జరాద్ పార్త మయ్యా వేషిత చేతసాం యా ఆల్మోస్ట్ సేమ్ వర్డ్ ఈవెన్ ఈ ఆల్మోస్ట్ చాప్టర్ నంబర్ ట్వెల్వ్ దోస్ హూ వర్షిప్ మే రిసైనింగ్ అవర్ యాక్షన్స్ ఆ సేమ్ వర్డ్ దోస్ హూ వర్షిప్ మీ రిసైనింగ్ ఆల్ యాక్షన్స్ ఇన్ మీ రిగార్డింగ్ మీ అట్ ద సుప్రీం గోల్ మెడిటేట్ ఆనింగ్ మెడిటేటింగ్ ఆన్ మీ బి సింగిల్ మైండెడ్ యోగా టు దీస్ హూస్ మైండ్ ఈ సెట్ ఆన్ మీ వెర్లీ ఐ బికమ్ వెర్ లాంగ్ హూస్ అన్ సేవియర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఓషన్ ఆఫ్ మార్టల్ సంసార ఇట్ కెన్ బి కనెక్టెడ్ కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎయిటీన్ డేన్ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ పాకరం పాకరం ఐ నోట్ నో యూ నోట్ ఇట్ నో బట్ దే హెవ్ డెన్ చేతసా సర్వకర్మాణి మై సన్యస్య మత్పర బుద్ధియోగాముభాశ్రిత్య మచిత్త సతతం భవ resigning mentally all deeds into me having me as the highest goal resorting to buddhi yoga ever fix your mind on me mentally dedicating all your actions to me dedicating oneself also to me not only the action but also yourself as the person should be dedicated to me renounce all actions mentally chetas sar chitta means the mind do not abandon work go on doing work but mentally renounce all actions it's a wonderful state of mind working yet not working the burden of work the tension of work will not come we should develop that buddhi yoga buddhi yoga is the original statement of the gita in the 39th verse of the second chapter బుద్ధి యోగ వాస్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ దేర్ బుద్ధి యుక్త యయా పార్త కర్మబంధం ప్రకర్షి వీ షుడ్ డెవలప్ దాట్ బుద్ధి యోగ బుద్ధి విత్ దట్ యోగ బుద్ధి వీ కెన్ లివ్ అవర్ లైఫ్ డూయింగ్ ఆల్ యాక్షన్స్ బై దాట్ వీ విల్ నాట్ అట్ ఆల్ బీ బౌండ్ వీ షుడ్ డూ ఆల్ వర్క్ బట్ మెంటలీ రినౌన్స్ ఇట్ వీ కెన్ బీ ఫ్రీ త్రూ దాట్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రామిస్ ఇన్ ద సెకండ్ చాప్టర్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ దేర్ ది అసెటిక్ పీపుల్ హూ రినౌన్స్ ఆల్ యాక్షన్ గో టు ఫారెస్ట్ the sub people who have to work here in the society yet realize the highest can they do it yes i tell you how resort to buddhi yoga that is the language sri krishna use here two types of yoga are there sankhya yoga and buddhi yoga my buddhi yoga is for people who have to work in the world live in the world yet 
who love to achieve spiritual development to them i give this philosophy of comprehensive spirituality develop this buddhi yoga or samatva yoga a luminous strong steady mind oriented to oneness with other people it means that only service can come out of that buddhi all actions are included in this In one word, uh, Raghunathan Swamiji used to say, Nudhi Yoga, it is Samatvam. Because Samatvam, you, we can attain that position only when we are not attached to anything. The neutrality, you know, not indifferent. You can say positively indifferent. We don't condemn, we don't get affected, we don't get elated, we don't get depressed, we don't get biased, we don't get attract, attracted, we don't develop affinity, we don't develop uh, aversion. Bah. Always the Buddha keeps on telling us, it's all his work, his work, his work, his work, his assignment. His will. It doesn't allow the me and mine to come and sit on judgment. Always relying on God and godliness, God dimension, God oriented, God centered, not the individual centered. Elaborately, he discusses in the second chapter, Buddhi Yoga. Buddhi Yuktu Eha Partha. What is the slogan? Huh? Second chapter 39. Yeshate Abhita Sankhye Buddhi Yoga Timam Shunu. Buddhya, buddhya yukdo yaya partha karma bandham pradasyasi. Oh, buddhya, acha. Buddhya, how to say that, we don't know. Hmm. Chapter number two. Thirty-nine, ah. The wisdom of self-realization has been declared into here now the wisdom of yoga endured with which you shall break through the bonds of karma. Till now I have been conveying to you the Sankhyan wisdom meaning Jnana Yoga. This world is unreal. Atman alone is real. In the, in the transcendent state you will realize this Atman. This world is a world of passing shadows. That kind of teaching was given in Jnana Yoga. And Sri Krishna was telling Arjuna to fight the war on the basis of the teaching of Jnana Yoga. Now he says, Yeshate Vihita Sankhye. Till now I have told you about the approach to the Sankhyan line of thinking. But now you hear from me the yoga way of thinking and action, the Buddhi Yoga. I am going to speak to you the yoga of action, yoga of active endeavor, out of which also you achieve spirituality. He said, Buddhi Yoga to Imam Shunam. Now I am going to tell you this new philosophy of yoga, how, how work can lead us to spiritual realization. Beautiful, I am not noted. If you think the world is unreal, there is no fun in work. In fact, we have been taught this idea of the world being unreal, and yet we have to do work here. And our work will show the absolute. 
Our work will show absolute unconcern, half-minded work. Most of our people now, when they work, are half sleepy. They have no interest in the work around, except very special individual person. Why did that attitude come? Because this unreal world philosophy was spread through various channels to the people. Sab dunya jhoot hai. There is nothing in it. You remain in your own self. That teaching was given to our people long ago through various channels. Without looking at all aspects of the teaching, we became distorted in psyche. First of all, self-centeredness and unconcern for others. This kind of philosophy had gone deep into our mind with the result that our human relations became weak, unconcerned. In a great teacher or in a great spiritual sadhaka, this human unconcern was not there. But to millions of people, the result was a dried up heart. No concern for others. That attitude also came in politics. That is why this yoga path of Sri Krishna is, is a strong medicine for most of us. What will be the result of this yoga buddhi? Krishna answers, Buddhya yukudo yaya partha karma bandham prahasyasi. If you develop this buddhi, yoga buddhi, one great result will be that through work you will attain that spiritual freedom which jnana gives. You can continue to work, you can handle the work situation, handle other human beings, in and through all these you would become free from all bondage that work produces otherwise. Action produces bondage only if you do it ignorantly. But this yoga buddhi will help you to perform actions and yet not to have any bondage at all. Achieve that same spiritual freedom which jnana yoga, jnana yogis get. But in addition, you will, be, you will have a warm-hearted person, deeply interested in the people around you. You will be doing great good to the people, to the society. This new philosophy which Sri Krishna is expounding to Arjuna and to all of us has not been expressed in our life and action all uh, in our life and action all these 1000 years but in the modern age we can do so we will do so our whole life and work system in india needs a revolutionary transformation that comes only from hard work work without dedic with dedication work with a great sense of human urgency so that philosophy is very very important for us and for a large part of the world as well so sri krishna said Buddhya yukudo yaya partha karma bandham prakashashi. Endowed with this yoga buddhi, you will destroy your bonds of action. Beautiful. You are afraid of action that it may create bondage. I am assuring you, if you take to yoga buddhi, no bondage will come. That is the philosophy which can bless and elevate every human being. It's a wonderful uh, shloka, yes. Especially for people like us, you know, who are involved in various activities, right from morning till evening. This Vigata Jora plus this one, 39. Buddhya Yukudo Yaya Partha. Ah. You mentioned earlier. World as world is unreal, world as God is real. Correct. Uh, to remember that, that uh, Vinobhaji is one word, you know. The whole creation is God's book. <laughs> At every page, the name of God is written. I mean, in every creation, the name of God is written. Then the world becomes real. So that we will not be bothered about the transient nature of the objects, the different characteristics of the objects. 
Suddenly we come to realize yeah, it's all his Leela, his Leela, his Leela. We still don't know how, why he brought spiciness in the chilies, sweetness in the sugar cane, bitterness in the bitter gall, sourness in the tomato or uh, lemon. Think. We don't know the reason. If we, we, if we see God has brought it up because you know we need different tastes. We, need, we enjoy different shapes. We enjoy different flowers. We enjoy different fruits. So when he gave us in your life and gave us a sense of individuality, because he is the father, he is the mother of all of us, he wanted us to make our life not boredom, no? Drudgery, boredom, same thing, no. Everything, new, new thing, he is bringing it out. And now he is also prompting human beings to bring it out from again various varieties. In good old days, our mothers were you doing it. When, they, when somebody gave the idea of uh, Italy dosha, as a side to this, you know, chutney is there. In our, in our childhood days, chutney was not done because we, we need a lot of coconut. But mother used to prepare this malagapudi. Different types, you know, of pulses and the... Uh, what is it? Red chilli. They are the combination, they are, and it comes out beautifully. Then you take that, you put it in a jar, and then it has to be grounded. It is done manually, you know. Ah. At that time, Mother will ask us to put a, this thing on this, because otherwise it should not go through the nostrils. And then we do like this. And when it reaches that stage, she takes it out, tastes it. And then every time when we are given idli or dosha or anything like that, and oil also will be given, and that is our, what do you call it, side dish. So many things improved, you know? because why? We want different tastes every day, different, if the same thing is there, we will say only upma, only idli, only dosha. So now we understand why he brought different tastes. These are all our assumptions. When, when we look back through our own life, we find the Creator has brought out creation to satisfy His creation. Human beings. Even in mangoes, you know how many types of mangoes? Suppose you take only Alfonsa, after some time you will lose your interest, but assorted, Anything assorted. Even dry, 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 dry fruits, you know. Previously it was all in, separate, separate, separate. Now you see slowly we are trying to bring everything put together, you know, assorted. So the constantly, you know, buddhi yoga. So new, new inventions are coming, new, new uh, products are coming. So that means dynamic. The so new philosophy, uh, uh, he says, our whole life and work system in India needs a revolutionary transformation. That comes only from hard work, work with dedication, work with a great sense of human urgency. So that philosophy is very, very important. One great result will be that through work you will attain the very spiritual freedom which Jnana gives. You can continue to work, you can handle the work situation, handle other human being. In and through all these, you would, be, you would become free from all bondages that work produces otherwise. Action produces bondage only if you do it ignorantly. 
but this yoga buddhi will help you to perform actions and yet not to have any bondage at all and one more learning comes you know when we go through such life it is not that one yo uh, one chapter is limited to one particular line of philosophy the title is sankhya yoga he brings in the buddhi yoga karma yoga everything is here that means we do we don't stand on any 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 fixed norms no the purpose of sri krishna is to clear the moha and so he develops various methods again we may find the same repetition just now somebody pointed out you know when we read one shloka two or three shlokas are similar that means again and again he is bringing out this is another learning from gita we get repeatedly telling he repeatedly hammering in different ways at different context so that we will not take it as boring and we don't miss anything if we take a pen and pencil and if we are well up in drawing caricatures what does the uh, uh, geeta expect us to be a human being? suppose we put their caricature we will as we go through chapter by chapter we will find the same thing repeated in so many places yes we also wanted to share one experience it may be difficult for all of us to go through the 700 sloka the commentary of it by any uh, saint what do we do now the first exercise we tried was to put it in one line one sloka one line we may not be able to cover everything what we get we put at least you know you have a the 700 slogans will have 700 lines and from there again one shifting filtering takes place that is how all these things came out so each one can develop but i think now we find the way in which uh, papa now prompts the devotees different uh, slogans in different uh, chapters i think this is very good but the only thing is we should note down always you may forget again note down again whenever time permits go through it again and again our mind will give us another interpretation uh, we may get more light more clarity see today itself how many news uh, four or five or six four slogans have come out yeah that is enough all of the, the impact of which will remain in a subtle form so papa is now teaching us what should be the methodology to uh, know uh, at least the basic ideas contained in bhagavad gita which are essential for our daily life anything else kamili one more shloka one more shloka ha ye vyavasayaatmaka buddhi rekeha purunandana ha number chapter number ha third message you come third chapter andi ha second chapter mata second chapter 41 shloka 41 second 41 you are not leaving us from the second chapter at all no ha ಅವ್ಯವಸಾಯಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ 
there is but a differentiation and tremendous integration that integration is what is mentioned here ekeha kurunandana arjuna is o arjuna buddhi is only in the is only one in this school of yoga philosophy but in ordinary life bahushaga anandashcha those who are avyavasayis without that kind of determination their minds function in a scattered way there is no energy developed within the system everything is scattered mind has two states one is scattered the other is gathered in all yoga teaching you speak of a gathered good this yoga is also very very inspiring ಎದಿರಿಚ್ಛಾಲಾಪಸದೃಷ್ಟೋ ಅಲ್ವ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾದೀತೋ ವಿಮಲ್ಸರ ಸಮಸ್ಧಾವಸಿದ್ಧೌ ಚಿತ್ವಿ ನ ನಿಬಧ್ಯತೆ ಪರ್ಸನಲಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಅನಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎನ್ವಿ ಈವನ್ ಮೈಂಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ ದೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ personality satisfied with what comes by chance yadrichal apasantushto never running after a thing ashram no ashram life ashram philosophy this is a very high level of spirit come to that state i may not have it now but i shall keep it in view that is that is all what we have to do at this stage yadrishya by chance i never ran after it it came to me the situation i have seen people who do not strive for promotion in the office what is due to me will come to me that is their attitude such people are very few in number and they have got also what is their due though things are not so good in our society now in just society one will get what wants do but today our society is not just it is very unjust even by struggling you are not going to get your due i shall do my work what is due to me will come this is a high spiritual standard in bhartri he says in neeti sloka what is the quality of a dhira dhira means an intelligent and heroic type of mind that is why dhira is a great word in sanskrit what is the nature of the dhira let fortune come now or go wherever she likes let death come now or let it come many years later the dhira will not move one inch from the path of nyaya that type of mind must increase in society dhira means that what a wonderful change it will make nothing can shake the mind from the path of righteousness from the path of justice and so dandwadito free from all the dualities of good and bad happiness and misery these are all called dandwas they always go together if you are one you will have the other also we must be able to detach myself at the same time i should be active also Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. Yes, we will see tomorrow then. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai 